Good morning, everyone. It is so good to see your faces. Just, <laughs> you know me, I'm going to start crying. <laughs> it's a new year, new tears. <laughs> One of the things that we thought would be really amazing about this particular opportunity that we have to worship together is the ability to just interact with one another. And so um, one of the things, one of the ways that we, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I need to like take it off of every seeing everybody because right now that's just really, it's just making my heart just overflow. Um, <laughs> so what we thought we would do this morning is offer an opportunity if people wanted to share um, a pet um, or um, a special um, special loved animal in your house. And I wish that you could have been in the Parker household a few minutes ago um, and also on Christmas Eve. Um, we have this dog named Chewbacca who just, just left the room actually. Um, it was his cue, I guess, to leave. Um, but he is a singer, um, which I know in the musical Parker household should come as no surprise. We didn't realize when we got Chewy that um, that was his gift. But um, whenever songs happen, um, there are certain songs that he really responds to. On Christmas Eve, it was Silent Night. So as we were all singing Silent Night during our worship service, Chewy was right in with us um, singing right along. And just a few moments ago while we were singing the first Noel, he hopped up next to Alex and was um, singing too. So I don't know what the new year will bring for him, maybe a recording contract, I don't know, but um, it's, it's, uh, it's fun to see him respond with us as well. But we wanted to give you guys an opportunity to share some special pets too. We already got to see Julia's um, uh, amazing cat who has come back from <laughs> major back issues. <laughs> Um, but who else would like to share a pet with us this morning? Evie would like to share a pet. Yeah. Hi, Evie. That husky. Evie, can you tell us, can you tell us your puppy's name? Jasper. Jasper. All right, and how old is Jasper? One. One, all right. You got Jasper for Christmas last year, didn't you? It was a special present, that's awesome. So cool. What do you like best about Jasper, Evie? Um, when he's sweet in the morning. Ah, oh, nice, very good. Thank you for sharing Jasper. Oh, I see some more. I see some more friends are are coming on here. Who else would like to share a pet? Yeah. Unmute yourself. <laughs> Lori, I see you have a friend there with you. Yes, I do. This is Oakley. He's been howling the entire time we've been singing. I'm not sure how musical that is, but he's here. <laughs> Hi, Oakley. <laughs> All right, go ahead. This is mine, and I love it because it's Dot, and she's my favorite. Oh, that's awesome. I love Dots. Okay, go. So glad you shared that, Noel. <laughs> this is the first one, and this is Macy. Hi, Macy. <laughs> You look so happy to be on camera. <laughs> she is. It's pretty exciting. <laughs> Back there we have Matt. Oh, hey, buddy. And then Kelsey is coming Kelsey. up. <laughs> also super happy to be on camera. Absolutely. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Who else do we have with us this morning? I think the Coverstones have a cat. We, we have Daryl and Daryl. <laughs> There's Daryl and Daryl. Actually, love Benji, it. Benji and Buddy. Benji and Buddy. All right. 
And John, um, Ian, who do you, or sorry, Leo, who do you have? Uh, <laughs> oh, his name is Arthur. Ten months, ten months old. Okay, ten months old. That's awesome. What's the kitty's name? Archie. 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 Very good. We have two dogs here and neither of them do we own. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a friend of mine's. I'm watching her daughter's dog. And this is our daughter's dog who doesn't live in the country right now. So we have two dogs, but don't own any. <laughs> well, I'm so glad they could join us for worship this yeah. morning. <laughs> What a special opportunity. <laughs> Looks like Linda has somebody there. This is Cooper. And he's Hi, doing Cooper. That. And all he wants to do is play catch. <laughs> oh, my oh, it looks like Chewy has joined Anna. Or maybe not. <laughs> he's peace out. <laughs> yeah, he said peace out. <laughs> I have Leah, though. There's Miss Leah. <laughs> yep, Star Wars family. We have Chewbacca and Leia. Sarah? Yeah. I will share mine, but my pet doesn't do anything. Doesn't sing, doesn't... And I'm going to have to move my camera for a... Okay. I think this will show you a close-up. Oh, did I, did I disappear? Well, I see like your finger or your hand maybe. Okay, I can't tell how to get a picture of this. <gasps> oh, I love it. <laughs> That's my beta fish. Your beta so fish? You see it at all? Beta fish? Yeah, he just swims around. <laughs> and then he and eats. You know what? Talks. We can all take a lesson from that, right? Dory says, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. So maybe that's our that's our thing for the year, right? We just keep but swimming. It's very, very relaxing for me. Yeah. Yeah, aquariums are great for that. Okay. I I pushed my finger in and messed up. I shouldn't have done that. I should have brought the aquarium over here. It's just a little one. <laughs> well. Thanks for sharing. Hey, Brian, I see you have a friend. Oh, your mic's on mute, Brian. Still <laughs> muted, Brian. On mute. There we go. Oh, there. There. Oh, okay. Good. This is Lily. Lily. And she's oh. about three years old. Oh. Very sweet. Yeah. And Leslie, I see a cage. Bird. A bird. Oh, Do awesome. Those things to see who's on. And I see Audrey's horse. Awesome. Trying to get to show you Hannah, the dog you may have oh. seen during some of the worship services. Is she shining? I doubt it. Hannah has worshiped with us previously. Our, our uh, show stealer, Hannah. There she is. <laughs> Hi, Hannah. Yep, she likes to run across the front of the screen during songs. <laughs> that's the black dog that's in the services, some of those. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. her, that's her. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you all for sharing. Can I close this in a word of prayer? Well, this part anyway, <laughs> we're going to keep going. So I always like to do arms out, arms up arms down. Dear God, we thank you for this new year, for this time to be together, to put eyes on one another. We thank you for 
so many gifts. And this morning, we also thank you for the gifts of our canine, feline, feline and other pet companions for the joy that they give us, for the, the comfort that they provide, for their unconditional love. We give you thanks. We pray that you would be with them and with us as we journey together in the year ahead. We love you, God. Thank you for loving us. Amen. Amen. We had to get his two cents in there too. <laughs> okay, we're going to go uh, to our uh, the hymn again. We're going to sing verses three and four of the first Noel. So I'll share my screen. And if you've taken yourself off mute, you may want to go back on to mute. <laughs> At this time, our scripture reading is going to come from Denise Anderson. So Denise, make sure you're unmuted. Good morning. Today's reading is from the book of Matthew, chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. <clears throat> After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, where is the one who has been born king of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed and all Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem in Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, are no, by no means least among the rulers of, of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, go and search carefully for the child. As, as soon as you find him, report to me so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. 
Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. Here ends the reading. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, happy new year, friends. It's finally 2021, 2021. We're excited, right? We have been looking forward to this time for so long. Last year was so hard, and I know that many of you have gone through struggles and, and really suffered through it. We totally understand. At the beginning of the new year, one of the things that we like to do as a family is to talk about our goals uh, for the year. And after many of our opportunities were blown up last year because of the pandemic, we just kind of this year talked about our hopes. Didn't necessarily set goals, but we talked about our hopes. It's hard to set goals when we don't know the circumstances in which we are living and what's going on. So sometimes just looking at the new year with a hopeful mindset is all that we can do. So I'll let you know that one of the things that I lifted up as a hope is that we will be able to come back and safely worship together in our sanctuary together. That's one of my biggest hopes for 2021. Maybe you have uh, some hopes for this year as well. So if you'd like to share your hope, uh, why don't you just raise your hand and one of our hosts will make sure... Uh, go ahead and unmute yourself if you want to share, raise your hand and, and wait to be called on. And, and I'd love to hear some of your hopes for 2021. And make sure that you're unmuted, because if you're talking and you're muted, we won't be able to hear you. Anybody have any hopes for this year? Mary? I miss volunteering so much. And I think part of it is because I'm home and don't go anywhere and anything sounds good right about now, but I really do want to get back and do some volunteer work again. That would be a great thing to happen this year. Good. Thanks for sharing. Uh, Marilyn? I want, I hope to travel to Atlanta to see my son and his family and to California to see my daughter and her family and to Princeton, Minnesota to see my sister. All right. Then I'll be happy. <laughs> That's a good hope. Thanks for sharing. I see another hand. Jan Keller. I'm the same name. I hope we can see our daughter in Nashville. Uh, we haven't seen her for over a year now. And we usually get together at least once or twice a year, either here or there. And uh, so it's beginning to feel like a very long time, even though we can do Zoom and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks, Jan, for sharing. Judy, you had your hand up. Judy Stone. Um, I'm I'm hoping to hug my grandchildren again. I have missed that terribly, and um, just seeing them outside and and talking to them just doesn't doesn't fill my heart enough. I understand. That's a good hope. Sharon. Um, I think we're looking forward to plays and concerts and Just movies, getting together, with friends. getting together with friends, all of the above that everybody has said. It's kind of like life. <laughs> Traveling. Good hope. Thanks for sharing. Tammy, you have your hand up. Uh, 
I guess my hope is after working from home, it's nice, but I'd rather be back in the office, kind of like church. And also because my work life is highly involved with paperwork, I'd like to get that back in its drawers in the office in its right spot instead of on my couch. <laughs> Very good hopes. I like that. Thanks. Margie. Um, my hope would be to see people person to person without a mask on. I miss seeing, other than on Zoom, I miss people seeing people their full face and their smiles. George might have to shave if we do that, though. <laughs> Here's a hand. Anyone else? Okay, Denise. Pastor, I just share your hope. Um, I am so looking forward to the time when we can all be back together on Sunday mornings and throughout the week in the church building, <laughs> one together. Trisha. I have a, a hope for choral music to find a way to persist in 2021. Amen to that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyone else? Yes, Larry. I'd like to uh, have AA and other uh, self-help groups uh, open up where people can go in and get the benefit of one-on-one -on -one help from other uh, people in uh, recovery. Thanks. Josh, you have any hopes this year, bud? Oh, I I really would echo um, Trisha's, I can't wait for choir to start back up again. But then, um, should I tell him? Oh, well, and I hope Julia can return to campus, college, sometime soon. <laughs> and something happened over Christmas, so she said yes, but I, I hope she'll go through with it this year. Thank you. Congratulations. Hey, come on, hey. Thank you. Thank been you. My hope for many years. Thank you. <laughs> Congrats. Congrats. Joshua, you're so slow. People have been asking when we're going to do it. They were asking last week, and she says, well, this Friday works in her schedule, but. That's coming on. <laughs> <laughs> So exciting. We're all excited. Hey, Jessica Anderson, I see your hand up. Yeah. Okay, Noel wanted I to share. wish we could go back to school. Oh, yeah. Amen. That's a good hope, Noel. Thanks for sharing. George? George Vager? Oh, you got him. Unmute yourself, bud. Unmute. You're on mute. I need one of those mugs. You're still muted. You're still muted. George. Now we're ready. There you go. I'm too old for this technology. I, I pray for this country, for this world. We've got so much turmoil and, and people are not paying attention to what's happening all around us. They're not looking to where we know the answer is uh, in, in God and Jesus Christ. And, and somehow we've we've got to join together and get people back to their closer to their senses now we know it's not going to be it's going to be a new normal but we can adjust to that we have to adjust to that if we're still around so so i pray i pray to god that that he he wakes people up to, to, to make them more aware of what's important in this life. Amen. Thanks. That's George. it. Good hope. Abby Stone, did I see your hand up? I was just going to say, I hope to entertain in my new house in 21. Amen. That'd be exciting.
Well, one of the, uh, thanks so much for everybody that was sharing. One of the reasons I really wanted us to share our hopes is because I think it helps us to understand what is important to other people. It also shows that maybe some of us have the same hopes um, that others have at the same time. In the time before Jesus was born, the people were also living in a, a time of perpetual hope. Not many of the people could set goals for their lives. They just didn't have that kind of freedom. Not many of the, um, with the Roman occupation, the people weren't really free to live the lives that they wanted to. They, they couldn't just set goals and go after, you know, everything. But what they did have was, was hope. They hoped that the Messiah would come and, and fulfill their dreams and hopes. They, they had heard the prophecies of the one who would turn the world upside down. There were groups of people that believed that the Messiah was going to come and wield a strong sword and be the military leader to take down the Roman occupation. There were people who were religious folks who believed that the Messiah would come and set people back to following God's law again. The poor had hoped that the Messiah would turn their lives around. The rich had hoped that the Messiah would keep them rich and comfortable. You see, everyone had placed their individual hopes on the person who was the Messiah. For a long, long time, the people lived in their hopes. They waited and they hoped. So the last Christmas carol that we're looking at in our series is the one that we've been using throughout the service, the first Noel. The first Noel is a carol of hope. It helps to recount the story of Jesus' birth, specifically in relationship to Matthew's gospel, which is talking about the star and the magi, the wise men, as the carol says. Most people believe this could be one of the oldest Christmas carols that we sing today. Scholars think that the first Noel traces back to the 13th or 14th century, so seven or 800 years ago. Now, this is kind of cool. It was first sung as a dramatic retelling of the Christmas story. Today, we would call that a, a children's Christmas pageant. Back then, they called them miracle plays. And in, instead of singing all of the verses at once, they would often space out the verses throughout the play, kind of like what we're doing in our service here today. That's why we did that, to help kind of depict the journey the Magi traveled. The Magi followed the star, and the star led them right to Jesus. You know, one of the things that we've done the last few years in this particular service, the service closest to Epiphany, or January 6th, is that we've passed out Epiphany stars, or star words. Uh, these words are supposed to guide us, to direct us through the year, to challenge us, or even to comfort us. Truth be told, we aren't supposed to really pick the word that we want, but we're supposed to let the Spirit choose the word for us. Today, I thought we'd do something a little bit different because we're using technology and we're all over the country as we're gathering together. I'm, I'm going to choose a word for you and I'm going to share it with you. Now, through the magic of technology and a lot of prayer, I have the perfect word for each and every one of you. Are you ready? Get ready. You ready to see your word? All right, here is your special word. Did you get it? Did you see your word? Yes, it's Jesus. Your word this year is Jesus. Instead of courage or humility or evangelism or prayer or faithfulness or generosity, your word is Jesus. The truth is, I think that we have sometimes focused too much on these other words and forgotten where our true hope comes from. We have hopes for this year and beyond. Remember those hopes that we just shared a minute ago? Well, all of those hopes can't come true without the power of the person of Jesus. 
We need to reconnect to the person of Jesus, the one in whom we've been called to have a relationship with. Sure, we can focus on the negatives in our lives and all the struggles, but the one who can really get us through is Jesus. So my hope and my prayer for you, for all of us this year, for 2021, is that we can and that we will reconnect with Jesus. He is the one, more than just the reason of the season. So whatever that looks like for you this year, I want to encourage you. Um, if it means uh, spending more time in prayer, if it means uh, spending some more time reading the scriptures, uh, learning about who Jesus was. Maybe it's reading books about the historical Jesus or reading uh, reading other devotionals that will help bring you closer to Jesus. What, whatever it means, you know, this is a time when we can do this. You know, one of the things that we can't necessarily gather together, there's not a lot of things we can do, but what we can do are things that can build our relationship with the Lord. And so I want to encourage us for 2021 that that's what we kind of focus on, that that is our star word. So if you want to write, make up a star word, cut it out, whatever, and make sure that you put it on uh, your, wherever you keep it, on your bathroom mirror or, or refrigerator, your car, remind yourself that your word this year is Jesus, to be drawn closer to him each and every day. Amen? Okay, Josh. Want to sing the fifth and sixth verses? Absolutely. Well, because it is the first Sunday of the month and also the first Sunday of the new year, we have an opportunity to gather together at the table and in our case, many tables. The one thing that I love about the sacrament of the Lord's Supper is the fact that uh, it transcends all time and space and place. Wherever we are and however we are gathering, we can be gathered together in one unifying table of Jesus Christ. So friends, we are invited to this place. Hopefully you have your elements ready and will join us together at this table. Let's join together in prayer. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Almighty and loving God, it is right and just for us to give you thanksgiving and praise today and every day. God, I thank you for this technology that we can join together in worship. 
through Zoom, that we can see one another's faces, that we can sing together, that we can pray, that we can be lifted up. God, you know that this last year has been a very difficult one for so many people who have struggled, so many people have lost jobs or have been furloughed, people have died, we have lost loved ones, and we remember them today in our minds and our hearts. God, through different difficult struggles, we know that you are there. We know that you were there in the very beginning of creation out of chaos. And sometimes we can see glimpses of you recreating in the midst of the chaos of our world today. We give you thanks for your continual creation, for the way that you led your people through the wilderness, as we sometimes feel like we're walking through the wilderness, as you gave them hope in the midst of a time when they hadn't heard from you and they were looking for something to rely on and you gave them someone to rely on, the person of Jesus who was the Christ, the Messiah. We give you thanks for his life, for his love, for what he taught, how he taught, how he showed us to love one another. Even when we disagree, even when we don't understand, Jesus showed us how to love one another. God, today I ask that you would send your Holy Spirit down upon these elements in all of our different homes, that you would bless them, that you would make them lifted up so that they may be nourishing and sustaining for us in our life and in our ministry. Guide and direct all of us who are nourished by it today. I ask this in all of our prayers. In the name of Jesus, the Christ, who taught us to pray together, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever. Amen. So friends, on the night of Jesus' arrest and betrayal, he took bread, a lot like this, unleavened bread. And after he blessed it, he broke it. And he gave it to his disciples. And he said, friends, this is my body broken for you. Eat of this. And do so in remembrance of me. And after supper, he took the cup and he said, this cup is the cup of the salvation. My blood poured out for the forgiveness of your sins. Take and drink of it, all of you, and do so in remembrance of me. The Apostle Paul reminds us that every time we eat this bread and we drink this cup, that we come to proclaim the Lord's saving death and resurrection. Until he comes again. So friends, I invite you now to take of your bread elements. Remember that this is the body of Christ broken for you. Do so in remembrance of me. And now, friends, I invite you to take the cup, the cup of salvation. May it be a blessing to each and every one of us. Will you join me in prayer? Let's pray. Loving and almighty God, I give you so much thanks and praise for today. For this time that we can come to these tables, we can be lifted up sustained and nourished in our ministry, however it is, however it looks, that we may share the love you have for this world. Guide and direct us 
each and every day. We ask this in all of our prayers in Jesus' holy and precious name. And all of God's children said, Amen. Okay, so uh, at this time, we're going to have our uh, closing song. Um, but before we do that, I just want to remind you, um, first of all, thank you for so many of you and for your gifts that you have given over the course of the last year. Uh, it has been a blessing uh, to the church. Uh, we thank you for all of your generosity, for uh, the pledges that have come in, for the extra giving that some people have given, um, for remembering uh, the building that even though we can't be in it, um, believe it or not, has needed some maintenance over this course of the last year. And uh, so we've been taking care of that as well. And so thank you for all of your generosity. Uh, for, don't forget that you can always send in your checks to the church office. You can give online at pcotw.org, or you can even text to give uh, to our special number. At this time, we're going to join together with a closing song, and Josh is going to share his screen so we can sing together. Gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember, Christ our Savior was born upon this day to save us all from Satan's power when we were gone astray. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. Blessed angel came, and unto certain shepherds brought tidings of the same. How that in Bethlehem was born the Son of God by name. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy.
Child rest ye merry gentlemen. Child rest ye merry gentlemen. Now sing you this day. Isn't that technology cool? <laughs> That's so neat. Hey, Josh, are you ready to help uh, lead us on our last song? The Amen? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. As we go from this uh, time together, friends, thank you so much for uh, joining us on Zoom. I know it was a little bit different, but hopefully you have been blessed and feel like you worship together. Um, that we're going to do this again on the first Sunday of February. And just a, a heads up, um, that will also be our annual congregational meeting. Uh, so we're going to have uh, worship, and then we're going to have our congregational meeting right after that. So uh, maybe a little clunky, but we're going to work it out. It's going to be awesome. Um, that's, that's all we've been doing. So friends, go from this place with grace and peace and mercy and love of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit, each and every day, until we see each other again. Amen? Let's sing. Amen. Love you guys. Love you. Yeah, I love Thank you. you. Everybody. Love you. Love everybody. everybody. Bye. 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 Where's Darlene? Hi, Darlene. Oh, good to see you. Oh, Josh. Hey, good to see you. Hey. Oh, you see that? Yeah. <laughs> picture on the screen. What are you doing this morning? Look at all those people. Can you see them? Hey, Hi, Darlene. Hi, Miss Darlene. Hi, Miss Darlene. Hi. Hi, Miss Darling. Hello, how are you? Oh, We're gonna keep this as a screensaver. <laughs> <laughs> how do we do that? Oh, wonderful. <laughs>